हेलो वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ श्री स्वामीनारायण इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट गांधीनगर माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गौरांग पटेल योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर द कोर्स माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांजिट टाइम दैट इज टी आर एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस वेन टू कंसिडर द ट्रांजिट टाइम इफेक्ट एंड वेन टू ignore the transit time effect in analysis of transmission line so as we discuss when the frequency of operation is increase it means that at high frequency the concept of transit time effect becomes more and more important so jaise jaise frequency increase hogi waise waise transit time effect ki concept jo hai wo uska importance badh jayega okay we have derived the condition for ignorance of the transit time effect so when we can ignore the transit time effect when lambda is is much much greater than l okay so if this condition is satisfied then we can ignore the concept of transit time effect and if the concept of transit time effect is ignored we can use our low frequency circuit analysis techniques like kvl and kcl for analysis of the transmission line okay so basically uh, whenever we are we would like to make the analysis of the transmission line at high frequency the concept of transit time effect becomes more and more important so in that case if you would like to ignore the effect of transit time then we must have to consider the very short section of the transmission line very short section of the transmission line okay very short section of the transmission line whose length is delta x okay if i consider the small section of the or short section of the transmission transmission line whose length is delta x and if we consider that delta x is very very small approximately equal to 0 then in that case this condition is satisfied and if this condition is satisfied then the concept of transit time effect can be ignored transit time effect can be ignored while analysis of the transmission line so if you would make to if you would like to make the analysis of transmission line using the low frequency circuit analysis techniques like kvl and kcl what i will do we will consider the very small section of transmission line whose length is delta x and what is the our assumption that is delta x is very very small approximately equal to 0 in that case this condition is satisfied and the effect of transit time can be ignored if the effect of transit time can be ignored then this short section of trans transmission line can be represented as a lump circuit elements in terms of lump circuit elements and after representing this short section of the transmission line by lump circuit element model we will use the kvl and kcl for analysis of the transmission line at arbitrarily high frequency so conclusion is that if we consider the very short section of transmission line whose length is delta x that is very 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 small approximately equal to 0 then we will we can represent the transmission line as a in terms of lump circuit elements okay and this model is valid at any arbitrarily high frequency so in today's lecture what we will do so in today's lecture we will represent or we will consider the short section of transmission line and we represent this short section of transmission line by the lump circuit elements model and after that applying kvl and kcl we will do the circuit analysis or sorry transmission line analysis or analysis of transmission line so you can see this is the lump circuit element model of the transmission line here you can see i have considered very small section of transmission line whose length is delta x whose length is delta x and all these parameters are represented over here the value of this inductor is l into delta x because in a transmission line the parameters are basically considered as a at high frequency the parameters are considered as a distributed circuit elements and they are defined these parameters are defined per unit length so if i consider the small section of transmission line that is delta x then the value of that small section 
will be L into delta X, inductor will be L into delta X, the value of resistance will be R into delta X, the value of capacitance will be C into delta X and value of the conductance will be G into delta X. I hope कि ये कैसे आपको पता चल गया होगा because हमने जो भी distributed circuit elements के value represent किए थे वो किस में represent किए थे per unit length that is inductance per unit length तो अगर per unit length inductance L है transmission line में तो delta X length में कितना होगा L into delta X normal हमारा mathematics है okay similarly अगर resistance of the transmission line per unit length R है पर यूनिट लेंथ आर है तो डेल्टा एक्स लेंथ में कितना रेजिस्टेंस होगा आर इन टू डेल्टा एक्स एंड लाइक वाइज दैट इज सी इन टू डेल्टा एक्स एंड जी इन टू डेल्टा एक्स ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ द इनपुट वोल्टेज वी टी ओके आई हैव अप्लाइड विद इनपुट वोल्टेज वी एंड द करंट ड्यू टू दिस वोल्टेज विल बी आई दैट इज फ्लोइंग इन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन ओके सो हियर एट द इनपुट साइड आई हैव अप्लाइड द वोल्टेज वी ओके so at the output side the voltage will be v plus delta v v plus delta v okay so this delta v is nothing but here because of the voltage drop in the series arm okay here हमने यहाँ पे हमने कितना voltage apply किया है v जितना voltage apply किया है and because of the voltage drop in this series arm the resultant voltage is not exactly v but वो v नहीं रहेगा वो कितना हो जाएगा v plus delta V मतलब output voltage will be different than the input voltage. So input voltage is V and output voltage is V plus delta V. Similarly, here the input current is I, but due to the current flowing through this capacitance and conductance, the output output current is not I, but it will be I plus delta I. This is the I plus delta I, not I. This is the I plus delta I. Please make the correction. This is I plus delta I. So you can see the output current is different than the input current. Okay, so there is a change in the voltage between the input and output because of the voltage drop in the series arm, and because of the current flowing through this parallel branch, the input current and output currents are different. So input voltage is V, output voltage is V plus delta V. Okay, input current is I, and output current is I plus delta I. ओके okay, समझ में आ गया ओके नाउ नाउ इफ वी अप्लाई द किर्च ऑफ वोल्टेज लो फॉर दिस सेक्शन ओके देन द वोल्टेज रिलेशन विल बी द चेंज इन द वोल्टेज दैट इज डेल्टा वी विल बी डेल्टा वी इज इक्वल टू टोटल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सीरीज आम सो व्हाट इज द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस सीरीज आम दैट इज आर प्लस आर इन डेल्टा एक्स प्लस जे ओ मेगा डेल्टा एक्स so that is minus r into delta x plus j omega l into delta x into i so this is the voltage drop in the series arm and similarly the change in current in the parallel branch that is the minus g into delta x plus j omega c delta x into v okay here this negative sign indicates the reduction in the voltage as well as the reduction in the current okay so this negative sign indicates the reduction in this voltage the voltage change is matlab decreasing and current change is also decreasing samajh mein aa gaya so this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 let me denote by equation 1 and equation 2 now from equation 1 uh, the delta x will be common so if we take the delta x common and if i bring that delta x to the left hand side then this will become delta v divided by delta x is equal to minus r plus j omega l into i similarly From the equation number two, if we take the delta x common, and if we bring the delta x to the left hand side, then delta i divided by delta x is equal to minus g plus j omega c into v. Okay. So as we know, we have considered the very small section of the transmission line that is delta x approximately equal to zero. So if I take the limit delta x approximately equal to zero, limit delta x tends to zero, then delta v divided by delta x can be written as dv divided by dx so this becomes dv divided by dx is equal to minus r plus j omega l into i similarly limit delta x tends to zero delta i divided by delta x is equal to di divided by dx is equal to minus g plus j omega c into v okay 
so if we consider if we make this assumption then this lump circuit model will be valid for arbitrary high frequency because at high frequency the lambda value should be small and we can ignore the transit time effect okay so you can see here the voltage and current are not related through the algebraic equation but they are related by the differential equation so the relation or the equation of the voltage and current on the transmission line is the differential equation okay this is the differential equation okay so these are the voltage and current equation on the for the for sec, uh, small section of the transmission line and this voltage and current equation uh, equ currents are represented by the differential equation on the transmission line okay now we will do the solution of this voltage and current equation we have two equation delta dv divided by dx is equal to minus r plus j omega into y similarly di divided by dx is equal to minus g plus j omega c into v so this is the voltage equation this is the current equation now we will solve this two equation ye dono equation ka hum solution nikalenge matlab we will find the solution of the voltage and current equation of the transmission line okay to iske liye kya karunga main मैं हमारा जो वोल्टेज का फॉर्मूला है दिस फॉर्मूला लेट मी रिप्रेजेंट डिनोट बाय थ्री तो उसका मैं क्या करूंगा डिफ्रेंसिएशन करूंगा फिर से ओके okay? तो इसका मैं डिफ्रेंसिएशन करूंगा विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स तो क्या होगा डी स्क्वायर वी डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल क्या हो जाएगा माइनस आर प्लस जीओ मेल दिस आर द कॉन्स्टेंट इन टू डी आई डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स इसका डिफ्रेंसिएशन किया मैंने अब डी आई डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स की वैल्यू क्या है माइनस जी प्लस ओमेगा सी इंटू वी तो ये वैल्यू इसकी जगह पे रख दे हम डी आई डी बाई डी एक्स तो ये क्या हो जाएगा आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल इंटू जी प्लस जे ओमेगा सी इंटू वी ये माइनस माइनस प्लस हो जाएगा यहाँ पे डी आई डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स की जगह पे हमने ये वैल्यू रख दी तो आप देख सकते हो कि हमें क्या मिला फॉर्मूला डी स्क्वायर की वी डिवाइड बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल जी प्लस जे ओमेगा सी इंटू वी एंड दिस आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल into g plus j omega c is denoted by gamma square this is a gamma square and you can see this gamma square is in form of the line parameters of the transmission line okay this is the this equation gamma square is equal to r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c okay so this is the characteristic parameter of the transmission line so basically this is the characteristic parameter of the transmission line and it is in terms of line parameters of the transmission line and what is the meaning of this that we will discuss in our subsequent uh, slides or lectures okay similarly if i do the differentiation of this di divided by dx then what i will get d square i divided by dx square is equal to minus g plus j omega c into dv by dx now what is dv by dx that is the minus r plus j omega into i so if i put instead of dv by dx in this equation then what i will get g plus j omega c into r plus j omega into i and what is this this is nothing but again gamma square okay so hame kya relation mila d square v divided by dx square is equal to gamma square into v this is a gamma square into v similarly d square i divided by dx square is equal to gamma square into i okay and now what is the gamma gamma is basically propagation constant gamma is the propagation constant the name of the gamma is the propagation constant okay and this value of gamma it depends on which parameter it depends on the line parameters r l g and c and frequency omega so value of propagation constant depends on which parameters that depends on the line parameters like r l g c and omega what is omega omega is the radian frequency of the input signal applied omega is the sorry angular frequency of the input signal applied so omega is the angular frequency of the applied input signal okay and gamma is basically complex quantity and the gamma is nothing but it is the alpha plus j beta so what is the gamma gamma is the propagation constant it is basically uh, in general it is a complex quantity so that is gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta and gamma ki value kya hai gamma square ki value kya hai hamare paas gamma square is equal to r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c and this it is the characteristic parameter of the transmission line 
okay and what is the physical significance of this uh, propagation constant that we will discuss later okay so basically these are the solution of the voltage and current equation on the transmission line okay done okay so you can see uh, again if i will solve this okay this uh, voltage and if i represent the voltage in the transmission line then it can be represented as v of x is equal to v plus e raised to minus gamma x plus v minus e raised to gamma x okay so if i represent the voltage on the transmission line that is v of x is equal to v plus e raised to minus gamma x plus v minus e raised to minus gamma x okay so here the voltage and currents are governed by the second order differential equation and uh, if i find the solution of this second order differential equation then the voltage will be represented as v of x is equal to v plus e raised to minus gamma x plus v minus e raised to v minus e raised to gamma x if i introduce the time varying parameter that is e raised to j omega t then this becomes v of x of t is equal to agar main isko e raised to j omega t se multiply kar do to ye kya ho jayega v of x of t is equal to v plus e raised to minus gamma x e raised to j omega t plus v minus e raised to gamma x e raised to j omega t so this is the nothing but time varying function e raised to j omega t okay so what will happen if i introduce this parameter the voltage becomes the time varying function okay time varying voltage so what we i i will get if i multiply this by e raised to j omega t it will become v of x of t is equal to v plus e raised to minus gamma x e raised to j omega t plus v minus e raised to gamma x e raised to j omega t now what is gamma alpha plus j beta that is propagation constant so if i consider this part or this uh, uh, portion of this voltage first term of this voltage that is v plus e raised to minus gamma x e raised to j omega t and instead of gamma if i put the alpha plus j beta gamma ki jagah pe main alpha plus j beta rakhu to ye kya ho jayega v plus e raised to minus alpha x into e raised to j omega t minus beta x okay so this is nothing but this is the one of the component of the voltage that is v plus e raised to minus alpha x e raised to j omega t minus beta x this is the amplitude of this voltage that is v plus e raised to minus alpha x and e raised to j omega t minus b x that is, this represents the phase of the voltage phase of the voltage okay so this is the amplitude of the voltage on transmission line and this represent the phase of the voltage on the transmission line and for alpha is equal to 0 what is alpha that is a basically attenuation constant so for alpha is equal to 0 agar main lossless line consider karu if i consider the transmission line as a lossless okay so for lossless transmission line alpha is equal to 0 in that case if the v plus is real then i will get v plus e raised to 0 e raised to j omega t minus beta x and if i take the real part of this that is v plus e raised to j omega t minus beta x then real part will be v plus cos omega t minus beta x ye real part kaise aaya because e raised to j theta kya hota hai what is e raised to e raised to j theta e raised to j theta matlab kya hota hai i hope ki aapko pata hoga e raised to j theta matlab cos theta plus plus j sin theta j sin theta aur yahan pe theta ki jagah pe kya hai omega t minus beta x hai to iska real part kya hua ye ये कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वांटिटी है उसका रियल पार्ट क्या हुआ कॉस टीटा तो ये रियल पार्ट ऑफ दिस v प्लस ई रेस टू जे ओमेगा टी माइनस बी एक्स बीटा एक्स क्या होगा v प्लस कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा एक्स एन ओके समझ में आ गया ओके सो दिस इज द बीटा एक्स ओके सो इफ आई प्लॉट दिस वोल्टेज ओके दिस इज द नथिंग बट इज अ साइनोसोडल फंक्शन कोसाइन फंक्शन एन इफ आई इफ आई प्लॉट दिस वोल्टेज you can see this voltage is the this voltage parameter is the depends on two parameter one is the time another the space that is x it depends on t and x to agar main koi ek parameter ko constant rakhe dusre parameter ki value change karu suppose main x ki value constant rakhe alag alag time pe ye voltage ko check karu to mujhe aise wave form milenge to suppose x is the constant okay and if i change the time so at t is t1 is equal to 0 agar main ye wave pe ek point consider karu so you can see मैंने ये वेव का ये पिक पॉइंट कंसीडर किया सो एट टी इज इक्वल टी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट यहाँ पे 
फॉर T2 ग्रेटर देन T1 ये पॉइंट थोड़ा शिफ्ट हो गया आगे निकल गया T3 थ्री ग्रेटर देन जीरो मतलब कुछ एडवांस टाइम पे ये पॉइंट यहाँ पे मिल गया और कुछ इसके भी ज़्यादा टाइम पे T4 फोर ग्रेटर दे दो ये पॉइंट यहाँ पे शिफ्ट हो गया मतलब यू कैन सी दिस पॉइंट दिस वोल्टेज पॉइंट इज कीप ऑन ट्रावलिंग इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन हैंस आई कैन से दैट दिस वोल्टेज ऑन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज नथिंग बट इट इज द ट्रावलिंग वेव इट इज द ट्रावलिंग वेव so voltage on the transmission line is nothing but it is a traveling wave on the transmission line samajh mein aa gaya yes or no okay so this is the voltage similarly the second part of this voltage uh, pair voltage is v minus e raised to gamma x e raised to j omega t so similarly okay if i analyze this in terms of this and if i consider the real part of v minus e raised to j omega t plus beta x the real part will be v minus cos omega t plus beta x and this is nothing but it is known as a this is known as a backward traveling wave it is known as a backward traveling voltage wave this is known as a forward traveling voltage wave this is known as a forward traveling voltage wave so this is basically forward traveling voltage wave traveling voltage wave okay and this is the backward traveling voltage wave this is the backward backward traveling wave traveling voltage wave okay so if you plot this backward traveling voltage wave okay you can see it depends on it is also cosine function and it depends on t as well as x so if i uh, fix one of the parameter x or t and change another parameter so yahan pe main x ko fix karke t change karunga so you can see this point is moving in the backward direction in this direction so this amplitude point if i fix one point and if i focus on this point then with time this point is moving in the backward direction so this is the diagram of the backward traveling voltage wave this is the diagram of the forward traveling voltage wave matlab ye iska diagram hai ye iska diagram hai v plus cos omega t minus beta x ka aur ye v minus cos omega t plus beta x ka diagram hai ओके okay, समझ में आ गया तो so, इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि वोल्टेज ऑन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एट हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ ट्रैवलिंग वेव इट इज कंसीडर एज अ ट्रैवलिंग वेव समझ में आ गया सिमिलरली इफ आई सॉल्व फॉर द करंट अगर मैं करंट को सॉल्व करूँ सो करंट इज इक्वल टू आई ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू आई प्लस इ रेस टू माइनस गामा एक्स प्लस आई माइनस इ रेस टू गामा एक्स सो इफ आई इंट्रोड्यूस द टाइम वेरिंग कंपोनेंट दैट इज इ रेस टू जे ओमेगा डी सो करंट विल बी द फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम आई एक्स ऑफ टी इज इक्वल आई प्लस इरेस टू माइनस गाम एक्स इरेस टू जियो मेगा टी प्लस आई माइनस इरेस टू गाम एक्स इरेस टू जियो मेगा टी अगेन गामा इज इक्वल अल्फा प्लस जी बीटा डू द सेम प्रोसेस एज वी डीड फॉर द वोल्टेज दैन इट इज वी हैव टू कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द वोल्टेज आई प्लस इरेस टू माइनस अल्फा एक्स इरेस टू जियो मेगा टी माइनस बीटा एक्स एंड इफ आई कंसि दिस रिप्रेजेंट द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द करंट ओके एंड दिस रिप्रेजेंट द फेज ऑफ द करंट इरेस टू जियो मेगा टी माइनस बीटा एक्स रिप्रेजेंट द फेज ऑफ द करंट ओके एनी इफ आई कंसिडर द रियल पार्ट ऑफ दिस आई प्लस इरेस टू माइनस अल्फा एक्स इन टू इरेस टू जे ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा एक्स आई विल गेट एंड इफ आई आई कंसिडर अल्फा इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इफ आई कंसिडर द रियल पार्ट ऑफ इट देन इट विल बी द आई प्लस कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस बीटा एक्स एंड दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द करंट ट्रावलिंग वेव ऑन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो इट इज अ फॉरवर्ड करंट ट्रावलिंग वेव सिमिलरली If I consider the second part of the current, that is I minus e raised to gamma x e raised to j omega t, then I will get the I minus cos omega t plus beta x. This is nothing but current wave in the current traveling wave in the backward direction. So ultimately, what we got in the transmission line? So ultimately, at high frequency, the voltage and current becomes the traveling wave. So whatever the concept of our of our low frequency of the current and voltage. that now converted into wave phenomena now the voltage and current becomes wave at the high frequency samajh mein aa gaya okay so aaj ke lecture mein humne kya kya discuss kiya we have consider the transmission line as a lump circuit element model that is we have consider the very small section of transmission line that delta x tends to zero very small section of the transmission line and we have done the voltage and current analysis of the transmission line means we have find the voltage and current on the transmission line we have 
find the solution of the voltage and current on the transmission line and we have concluded that the current and voltage on the transmission line are nothing but they are the traveling wave matlab at high frequency on the transmission line current and voltage becomes the wave phenomena they becomes the wave phenomena okay so let's stop here we will discuss other aspect of this chapter in our next video lecture thank you very much